You're passionate, you're lovely. You're outspoken, we love all of that about you. You're the plan and maybe some books.
I've met some amazing people at home uh, and abroad. Uh, but let's be interested in one particular person. I was in uh, South Africa. Nelson Mandela had recently been released from prison after 27 years, and he was made the president of the Republic. Uh, and there was a move uh, to put into the new constitution uh, a new law which would say that it would be illegal to discriminate in South Africa on grounds of sexuality. And I was there in uh, Cape Town and Johannesburg with a little show trying to raise money for this committee who was supporting the change of the law. And one day they said, would I go and lobby the president and see if he would agree to lend his support to their movement? So, with a young um, lesbian from a uh, university and a young uh, gay activist, uh, we, we went along to meet uh, Nelson Mandela. An old frail man, blind in one eye, from the imprisonment of digging lime in, on Robin Island. He had lovely striped socks on them. A little bit of cap about uh, Nelson Mandela. And he welcomed us in and he talked about the weather and about the reasons for my visiting South Africa. And at the end of a brief conversation, we said, would it be possible for us to say uh, that he supported uh, the idea that gay people should not be discriminated against. And he paused, and he smiled, and he said, of course. <laughs> has spent 27 years in prison fighting for the rights of black people, he's going to understand that he's got to stand up for the rights of gay people. It seems to me that India, beautiful, beautiful India, is at some crossroads or other. I mean, you have to decide whether you're going to be stuck in the colonial past or enter the modern world. Join the rest of us who are simply prepared to accept that we are all born equal, whatever the color of our skin, the color of our hair, whatever the, our sexuality, and whatever our tastes or proclivities, we must all be treated equally. That is the future. That is the world that Nelson Mandela fought for. That is the future I would believe, wouldn't you, that Mahatma Gandhi dreamt of seeing. I wish you luck, and you have all my love. Thank you very much. Ladies and gentlemen, sir, Ian McAleen. Please give me a hand. Thank you so much for the wonderful having you with us. I'd also like to tell you at this point that it is also Sir Ian McGee's birthday, so we wish him all of us a very happy birthday. Thank you so much. I would now like to invite Sonam on stage so we can light the lamp.
Yeah, well, I'm I'm very very keen because uh, you know he's uh, I've just finished a film which is based on uh, Macbeth, and uh, he's somebody that's done Macbeth and has done it fabulously well. Uh, and uh, in fact, uh, before I started the film, I also watched the Macbeth that he had done. So I'm really looking forward to seeing him. So how much do you support the gay rights? Well, completely. I think uh, b b there is uh, it's as simple as uh, any other human right, and you know it has to be honoured. And uh, b I think also a festival like this is a great, great platform because uh, uh, there's so many movies, about 180 films from across 50 countries uh, that are coming into a festival like this. So I think it's great, it's fantastic. Any movies of yours that we should be looking forward to? Well, I've just finished a film uh, called uh, Viram, okay. which is the one that I was talking about, which is based on That's Macbeth. And I've uh, just finished uh, shooting for Gauri Shinde's film. Oh, जी ये मोदी सरकार यहाँ पर कैसे आ गई? जी बच्चन परिवार जो है वो अभी कॉन्ट्रोवर्सी है जिसके इन्वेस्टिगेशन चल रहा है इन्वेस्टिगेटिव एजेंसीज के द्वारा और कई पॉलिटिकल पार्टीज हैं जो इसका अपोज कर रही हैं कि जिस आदमी के या जिस परिवार के अगेंस्ट अभी इन्वेस्टिगेशन चल रहा है I don't know enough about it. Only when I know enough about it, will I be able to speak about it. Thank you. All right. Thank you. 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 And Emmy winner, a television arts role, a film director, and an international human rights film festival director. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up as I call them on stage one by one. I first like to invite Rajesh Bari Sachdev. She's worked extensively in film, television, theatre. National award for the best actress in supporting role for Sadari Begum. Uh, she's done so many of her wonderful works. One that is Boto Luchi's Little Buddha, Shyam Benegal, Suraj Ka Satwa Ghoda. Her latest play is Gohar, which is based on Sikha Gohar John and was de uh, directed by Lilith Logan Tube. Thank you, Rajesh Kari, for being on stage with us. Next, I'd like to invite on stage Manav Gohil, the very handsome Manav Gohil, popular actor from the Indian television industry for almost 15 years. Kahani Ghar Ghar Ki, Kasorni Zindagi Ke, Kusum, Kutse Nara, Snehi Zindagi and has supposed to co-host in some wonderful shows like Tape Gold Gold and Mangra Bhoomi. He's also been part of Nach Bali too. You will see his news. Also next I'd like to invite Parvati Balagopal on stage. Please ladies and gentlemen put your hands together. An Indian film director who has worked at film festival. He's also received the Kanki Chakra in Delhi for his work. Trying to combat and end violence against women and girls. And I I've had the honor to be a part of a play that he directed, which was Eve Ensler's I Am an Emotional Creature. Thank you so much. Get out so far, ladies and gentlemen. Next on stage, we'd like to invite Andrea Kuhn. Please, may we have you on stage, who started her career as an academic and researcher in film studies. From 2000 to 2010, she was the director of the Silent Film Festival, Stump Film Music Town in Arjen, and since 2007, she has been the full-time director of the Nuremberg International Human Rights Film Festival. Kashish also has a special jury member for the Riyadh Varya Award for Best Emerging Indian Filmmaker. That is sponsored by Varya Movie Tone. Roy Varya is the principal director of Varya Movie Tone, the pioneering Indian film studio founded by his grandfather, J.B.H. Varya, and perhaps best known uh, for, his, for his film uh, Fearless Nadia. His brother Riyad was the first openly gay Indian filmmaker who made India's first gay-themed film. So that deserves a round of applause, ladies and gentlemen. You know how it is. Roy could not be here tonight. The Vardya family is represented by his mother, Nargis Vardya, a great ally. Ladies and gentlemen, Nargis Vardya.